Hi, this is Rich Ciro with the Florida Small Business Legal Center. Today I want to talk to you about red flags to look at a contract. Uh, contracts can be very complex. My rule with contracts, the contracts must be simple. Must be very simple to understand, must be simple to read. Uh, unfortunately, most of them are not. So I want to share with you some of the red flags that I look for when I, a contract is presented to me for, to look at it, to review. Uh, number one, I look for the fine print. It's common sense. If you see a lot of fine print, that is a red flag. It doesn't mean that there might be some uh, bad terms in the contract, but it might be difficult to read. Uh, so don't assume that everything in that fine print is, is going to be in your favor. Look for that fine print. If you have to enlarge it, uh, put it through a PDF document and enlarge it, do it. Number two, confusing terms. If you have, if you look at a contract, a term, and it's confusing, it's not in your favor. The, the contract terms must be clear. You must understand the terms of the contract. Automatic renewals. Uh, automatic renewal provisions in a contract, in some cases, it's okay to have them. In some cases, it might not be a good idea. Automatic renewals, uh, people forget the automatic renewal contract from another year whether for whatever reason. I'll look for those provisions as well. That is a red flag. If you agree with those automatic renewals, then it's fine. But at the very least, you should know whether or not the contract automatically renews. Difficult exit clauses. If the contract is difficult to exit or terminate, that is a red flag as well. Look for those. Long contracts. You have a contract 12, 15, 20 pages long. Each of those provisions of the contracts are very, of that contract is, are very, is very important. So when you look at a long contract, it has to be reviewed. Don't assume that the first page is fine and then the rest is gonna be okay. You have to look at each provision because there are obligations that are included in the first page and the last page of that contract and everything in between. There are obligations for both parties and you need to understand what each of those pages mean to you. Last but not least, personal guarantees. I've spoken about this before many times. You need to make sure to know whether or not your contract includes a personal guarantee or it requires a personal guarantee. You should know that as well. Again, look for fine prints, confusing terms, automatic renewals, difficult exit clauses, long contracts, and personal guarantees. Not a comprehensive list, but at the very least, it gives you some thoughts. So when you're looking at a contract, something that will help you with in determining or not whether or not to go forward or ask more questions. Again, my name is Rich Sierra, and my goal is to help you succeed. Thank you.